So I have a subscriber from the Philippines who runs a D&D group and they wanted to add some terrain on their table. So he asked me to make a gatehouse out of the most readily available uh, material, especially since the Philippines doesn't have much access to insulation foam since it's a warm climate country. So I'm going to make uh, a gatehouse out of a cardboard box, an empty egg carton, and some stir sticks. All right, Fort 7, this is for you. Um, enjoy. So since this is a gatehouse, I'm using my uh, night watchman here for scale. He's a uh, 28 millimeters, so that's pretty standard D&D table. Didn't realize that I used this cardboard uh, as a backdrop for uh, spray painting something gold and now I'm covered in uh, gold glitter. Um, well, this is going to be annoying, but it's going to be fancy guardhouse. All right, to fill in uh, this gate opening, just get a cardboard and just crinkle it. So we can just follow the curve. So now that I look at this, it looks a little too bulky and clunky for a standard D&D build. So I'm going to cut it in half, take a big top off, and um, try to make it a little bit more of a three-dimensional structure. Trial and error. Okay, I'm much more comfortable with the, the height of this gatehouse now. And I'm gonna add like a mini tower coming out, kind of diagonal from this wall with uh, these cardboard pieces.
So I want to make the inside space here playable. So I'm going to put a floor inside and kind of line it and then make the roof kind of removable somehow. I still have to figure that out. But what I know is I really want to use the inside space here to play. What I've decided to do with the roof is basically um, put side panels on all four sides of the roof and have it come on and off like a lid for a hat box. So this is the basic structure of my gatehouse so far. It's all cardboard. I like how it looks. I like the three-dimensional aspect of it, the multiple angles. And I decided to put arrow slits at the end here. And I'm kind of regretting it because it looks really bad. Hopefully I can fix it somehow, kind of fix the edges. But as of now, I'm going to tear up pieces from this uh, egg carton basically like this and it's going to be uh, the brick surface all over this gatehouse I've gone pretty far with my gatehouse so far. It's a lot bigger than I was hoping to make, but this is what came out of my uh, dabbling a bit. And uh, the bricks look really good. I've never actually used uh, egg cartons as bricks before. And they came up pretty well. Hopefully they paint as well as they look right now. And if you don't have um, egg cartons, another option would be a takeout container. It's pretty much the same process, the same concept, just tear it up. But one thing you need to do with uh, the, these styrofoam containers is you need to kind of texture it. And the best way to do that is with an aluminum foil ball. And so you just press on it until you get a little bit of a uh, crackling. And then it's the same thing, just glue it on there. But it's a good option to have if you don't have uh, egg cartons like this.
a little bit bigger than I was planning to make, but I like the way it looks regardless. Um, this is it for me with all the egg carton pieces. So next stop is going to be using a bunch of this coffee stirs for all the wooden details. So now I'm going to make uh, windows, arrow slits basically. I'm going to use uh, whatever extra pieces of wood that I have. I just like to make them thinner. Oops. Did not work very well, but good enough. There. It's a little bit thinner for the windows uh, frames. And since they're window or uh, arrow slits, they should just be wide enough for a guard to shoot through. So something like this.
so I made this, uh, I'm not quite sure what it's called, some sort of like archer's perch on the side of the wall here. And go like that. Might as well do it now. There you go. I'll put the roof in later. That way it's easier to paint. But it's basically going to look like that. So this turned out to be a pretty massive uh, gatehouse here, uh, but I like it. It looks really cool. Um, the drawbridge works and the top opens, so it's playable on the inside. Now it's just a matter of painting it. I actually kind of like the way how it looks just completely blacked out, but I still need to paint it. Well, there you have it. It came out really well. I really like it. Um, I like how I painted it. I've been brushing up on my painting. I know that's really bad fun, but best I could do. I've been doing it by watching uh, this channel called Paint Hand Dan. He's got some really great uh, painting tips and he's got some amazing artwork in his channel. So I'm gonna put the uh, link to his channel right on the uh, description check him out and i like it <laughs>